so yesterday was the worst day ever. Uh, today, we're going to try not to get horribly murdered by a bunch of freaky cultist coal miner lizards. Oh, fuck. May, no. Bye, guys. Love you. May, god damn it. The hole in the center of everything. So that the end achievement was just to fuck with me, wasn't it? So what the hell? May, what are you doing? You can't go back there! God damn it, May. I guess we're going back to get ourselves freaking killed. Oh, son of a bitch. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. You should have brought a bat, man. Oh! What the fuck? Greg? Nice shot. He just fucking shot a guy! I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ah, uh, you fucking shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her. Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna fucking murder you. Yeesh. Ah, ah. So he was a dog person. You okay, dude? What are you? Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. That was because of me. What does that even mean? Since when are your bad dreams in charge of me? I don't know anymore. Dude. Dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get a die on me. You're not gonna do that, okay? But dude, I... Okay. We've been best friends since forever. You big dumb idiot. And this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't. I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on. If you keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and Greg. <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. It sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Foul him, I guess. Aw, oh, shit. I have to go alone. That's stupid, May. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up at the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We, sh we should, like, block it shot or something. Ah, uh, dang, you're right. No. He, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang! Let's do this shit. Let's fuck him up. Fuck him up! We're not fucking him up. There you go. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to play about spooky. We left a precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. I guess that's why we had to do that event. It's a lever. What do we do with the lever? Nothing. Maybe it's just like a shovel sticking in a pile of like crap. What? Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Be sure you wanna do this? Hey mate, you sure? Guys, I don't even know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna happen down there. All right then, down we go together. Oh, that was the switch. That thing looks old. The 
haven't used this mine in like a lot of years, generations even. Are you a tour, are you a tour guide now? Yes. Sorry, I'm eating nerds. But not these nerds on screen. We have Possum Springs Tourums pamphlets in the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Some people like white lights, but you know, spooky red lights. Also convenient. Well, here we are. <coughs> May, are you okay? I have my inhaler. Do those, do those like work for non-asthma people? I don't really, I don't really know about those things. Obviously I don't have asthma myself, or I would. It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I think I heard something. Down there. You're gonna be okay, Mari. Yeah, alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. I hope that bolt thing is loaded. I don't see an arrow. Spook noises. Not exactly how I was expecting this particular game to go. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Sounds like a kid crying in the background or something. You been here, asshole? Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? Unlike junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. So this is where that cult met with the, the fucking teeth. Ugh, what a bunch of freaks. <laughs> that little cigarette light. we not bring a flashlight? I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, so we're like five times scarier than you. Oh, fuck. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill him. Eddie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. I didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. You fucking murdered a guy! Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town, by family relation or just being hard workers. Contributors. Uh, okay. So we just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna have any much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that Eddie? He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. Always oh, tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He, oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh God, I've seen this, or I've felt it. it was Ed Scunner and Jim Dory who found it 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed up past Brittle, Vest Schumer, last supervisor, was out there and the company locked out the entrance. Carved it as an initial and date on the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. 
Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. Then the first settlers came out here. That old spring used to be right above where we're standing. That water dried up. 1920. 1992 were some men. So some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed bursts through that wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. Never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and waking times. So what brought you down here? What is it? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you want to just do something? Why would you want to just do something in a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand. In those days it was the end of the world. Job's gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care. Only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations. Sending our jobs over teas. They took our jobs. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Not really. Can we shoot them? I have no objections to shooting them. We prayed and prayed up at the church. When Ed Scunder came down here and listened, we got answers back. Answers? Ed explained this to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. It had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones it takes a shine to rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. They said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talks us all into this. After that first time. After we picked out. Well, not only was the town hold stable. It was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still have a few of us left from back then. First time? First one to the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You threw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so we start singing. And someone's turn to find something. Why don't you feed them with yourselves, fuckholes? Is that what you are doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules. I had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one that's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. How many people have died down there? Casey? How many people have died down there? Oh, I'd say. Three dozen. You're motherfuckers! Thirty-nine. Am I the only one keeping steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. Still got a feeling heart. It still hurts. Fuck you, you don't have a heart. Yeah, that dirtbag kid from the spring. K Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna tribute to society. Except a bunch of kids. Except a bunch of kids. There, there weren't nothing he was gonna contribute to society. Except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Gacy? Oh my god. We don't use that word. Fuck you! You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive while his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. Do you want to act like we didn't do him in this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down there the whole time. His parents put up posters! Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Shoot him! Which one of you did it? Greg. Nah, fucking shoot him! He was my friend. Alright now, throw it down or I'll shoot. Aw, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Ah. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Son of a bitch.
dang it. You're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. Long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Possum Springs isn't worth fucking keeping, you stupid assholes. Things can get better. These mines gonna be humming again some days. Old mills puffing smoke. Fuck you! There's a reason we stopped using coal. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Your world was built around shit. You deserve to lose your shit world. It used to be you provided for a family, brought a house, now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Yeah, doing something that isn't killing the fucking planet. Did you know that coal, coal releases more fucking dangerous radioactive material than fucking nuclear power? Did you know that coal ash has fuck, is fucking radioactive? There's nothing safe about coal. There's no clean coal. I, fuck coal, fuck anyone that wants to bring coal back. I don't care if you're a fucking coal miner. I don't care if you're the fucking president of the United States. Coal is fucking garbage. We have better shit than coal. I, it's fucking unbelievable. Not entirely relevant. Well, I mean, it is relevant, but like, just fuck coal. I had to say that. Kids leaving no more than they're staying, no opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home became a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burnt out brick box or a hole in the ground. We can change that. We can put this place back together. This shit ain't coming back, bitch. It's not coming back. Where it won't be just shapes. You're fucking crazy, May. Don't be crazy. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit, good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even minors back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of it dying? Yeah, fuck all of you. That don't matter. It does fucking matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why shouldn't we just call the cops and say what? You saw some men you couldn't identify, an abandoned main mine behind a block gate, and an elevator that won't run that you saw a hole. Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because of no one around here to do this. You remember that flood a few years back? Remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, jobs never came back. Kids never came back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. Well, good. If this is Possum Springs, then fuck Possum Springs. To death. Well, I'll soon be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. There's nothing wrong with fields and trees. There's something wrong with this. I've seen it. I know you have. May you fucking better not. I will kill you myself. I understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. I understand that you don't know who we are out there. We know who you all are. We know who's got a fucking bolt in his arm. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. You deserve permanent damage, Edie. You don't know a thing about what he wants. That's what he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't drop you. Fine, whatever, it's just a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. May, I swear to fucking God if you join them. You're dead. My brain's in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? Well, crack that one, we're far away from here. I don't know if, shh, talk later. Old, old stuff in here.
I know it's a loading screen now, but it, it still weirds me out when the game just goes black. It's uh, They removed the loady icon to make it more dramatic, I guess, but... It's still weird the game takes that long to load. I mean, I, it's it's a Unity game. It's like I guess it's like a full 3D environment, but like... Oh, it just feels weird. Alright, I'm gonna put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. To Casey, yeah, eh, yeah, and for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it, right? But like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which is what happened a long time ago, or how they remember. Like they picture it, and things gave it to them. It's so Casey and that kid at Harfest, and sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. Fuck them. They deserve it. You ready to go? You ready to go, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Eddie? Eddie, you motherfucker! Someone kill him! Pick your fucking head in, bitch! Yeah! Yeah! Cut his fucking head off! Cut him in half! Yeah! Now he's missing an arm. Wish he was missing a head. Is everyone okay? Holy god. Is everyone okay? May! May! May, say something. <laughs> May, you better not. <laughs> Why are we laughing? Haha. <laughs> Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So, arrest the guy missing a fucking arm and we catch these bitches. So, how are we getting out of here? Shh. Let me rest. This is not a safe place to rest. Well, I mean... Wait, do we trap those cocksuckers down there? I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah. I love you. Aww. <laughs> Welcome back, Mary. You okay? Better now than I just got murdered. So this is why they have different colors, huh? <laughs> so I can actually tell what's going on. Again, which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days? Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Ugh. There we go. Oops. There you go. Yep, that's some fresh air, right? And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can sm you can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Okay, rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. It's actually, it's impossible to smell water, but you can smell things that tend to inhabit natural water formations. Hmm. Plus you can feel general, you know, humidity and stuff. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in one foot of water. Right. Guys. Why aren't you coming? What the fuck? Well, we died in one foot of water. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know. After I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard not to be angry got me all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college. On the bus, I had this dream. Maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like something is over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding. Trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Till I die. 
But when I die, I want it to hurt. My friends leave when I have to go, let go. When this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that it happens, I want to hope again. I don't want it to hurt. Because at least that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need to save me now. See if you can kill me right here and do it. If not, but. May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalking there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just. Very, very tired. Hang on for a bit. You need to be safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's light over here. You smell that? I bet he did. Bears can smell light. It's a fact. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Brochure. <laughs> Hello? We're down here. Don't ask why, please. Could get lucky in some words out there in the woods this night. at night. I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Okay, yeah, you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Endorphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you confused, May? Endorphins. It isn't... It's more of an adrenaline rush than endorphins, but... Okay, well, ride those dolphins out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Oh, yes. Platforming time. Oop, dead. See, this really is Uncharted. I was joking about that earlier, but no. Just actually Uncharted right now. I'm, I'm just waiting for the one that breaks, and I go like, Crap, 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 crap! Oh, it's a well. Well, 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 what have we here? Paw. Boop, boop. <laughs> I like some of the like stop motion bits. This place, huh? Hey, man. What the fuck are you doing here, germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up at the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. I'm so glad you have rope. Can you go get it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have rope. Definitely not that would support a person. Hey, May, yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Apparently. <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I bought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up as well? Hmm. Please do. I got dynamite! Oh, hell yeah, dude! What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Thanks, buddy. Hopefully we can like suffocate them. Why does he have dynamite? There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Germ is precious. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. They totally deserved it. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess. But we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. A dozen guys that deserved it? No, no, no. They're still all alive down there. I hope not. They won't be after we fucking seal off the thing. Yeah. Jeez. We're all blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. It's not morally gray. This is the morally cleanest thing, like, I've ever done. 
They killed 36 people, dudes! What the fuck are you bitching about? We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. Fuck you! I would have done it! What the fuck, May? They killed 39 people! I would have. Thank you! Aw. What? They killed people! They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them! Thank you! I don't even believe in hell, and I still hope they all go straight there. Angus is the best fucking person in this entire game. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if I keep walking. <laughs> it's not really like a trolley problem if, like... Uh, if you know a trolley problem is going to, like, kill all of the bad people, and you don't press the kill bad people button... You're actually worse than the bad people. Like, you're just fucking scum, and you should die painfully. Like, there's that's not morally gray. That's that's just right. If, if you don't agree with that, your parents raised you the fucking wrong way. Like, I don't even know. Like, there's been this fucking meme on the internet about how... Oh my god, you can't punch Nazis. If, if you hurt a Nazi, that makes you, you know, just as bad as them. Hold on, let me find... Let me find something. Okay, so I realize this is a slight bit of a tangent, but I mean, so, so, re read this fucking cum stains fucking post. Jathan Prager, you piece of shit. I can't believe I have to say this, but apparently I do. If you're a Nazi and you're afraid of being violently attacked, then I'm here for you. I'll ride for you. I'll buy a safe house for you. Why? Not because I support Nazis, but because I don't support violence against any group. When you defend a Nazi, that's called supporting Nazis, you stupid fuck. That's called being a fucking... This piece of shit. This guy. This is one of the biggest fucking pieces of shit I've ever seen. There's this whole thing online about, Oh my god, you can't hurt people, they're like evil and stuff. And this guy, so... Fuck. This guy deleted his tweet. Fucking pathetic piece of shit. At Doomlord Beck. Which the funny thing is, this fucking guy, um, if you read his Twitter bio... Um, um, he's like, oh no, Brexit is bad. So he's like, he's not even like some far right Trump shithead. I'm gonna get so many comments. I'm so glad this is buried like 26 videos in to a game that probably has Trump supporters like pissing out vomit in rage because it's like has feelings. Anyway, so this guy, um, this was this post, uh, you'll have to trust me a little bit on this one, because he deleted it, because, you know, I outed him for being a Nazi supporter. But, so, what happened was, let me, I'm sorry, my heart's beating, I, I got so fucking mad, I need to clear my head a little bit. So, what happened was, um, somebody posted something like, hey, at least, you know, we're punching Nazis now, but we used to kill them. So, I mean... Don't be such a, you know, a pathetic coward. And then, you know, this guy's like, hey, my parents, my parents, they killed Nazis and it was wrong then. Nazis killed 21 million fucking people. It's okay to kill someone when they're a fucking murderer, okay? You don't get a fucking orally gray area Nazis, okay? You don't get to be like, oh, I'm a fucking pacifist. You shouldn't hurt anyone, even if they're killing millions of people. Fuck you! If you, I'm sorry. I... This is not fucking okay. This is not something I can be fucking politically safe on. If you think you should just leave somebody murdering people and just, you know, that it's wrong to harm them or something, you're a fucking piece of shit. You're a scumbag. You should fucking die painfully. You're garbage. I'm sorry that you're garbage. I want you to be less than garbage. Or I want you to be less garbage. Um, if you can, you know, somehow become a functional human being, I would welcome you back into society. But if you think it's okay to defend, like, literally Nazis, like, like, there's no ambiguity here. Straight up fucking Nazi. Are you afraid of being violently attacked? If you're this guy, fuck you. Don't watch my videos. Fucking leave my channel. Find something very tall and jump off of it. Actually, don't do that, because somebody has to clean up your guts. Find some way to die that affects people around you the least. Just please do that for me, all right? <sighs> anyway, for everyone who I did not just tell to die, let's go back to Night in the Woods. Like, seriously, what the fuck? 
you don't get a morally gray area murderers like no i i like b a lot less now and may angus is great though anyway calm down a bit all right hey guys uh are you there anyone Okay, I'm going to type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. I need, I need to talk. Even if your jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control over the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was happening. I'm going to have to edit so much peeking. I was probably loud back there. <laughs> it was important. I fucking, I stand by every word that I said. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can, like, connect things. Or connect two things. Sometimes you need some someone to be there where you don't have. And even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating away tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think that I don't appreciate that. Lol. Am I ever gonna have a handle on what just happened? I kinda hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I wanna like grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe that there's ways to escape or at least move on. Germ buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing you at, at wherever you're at. Germ's a good guy. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. Greg! Fucking Angus saved the day! I don't know if I better, better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. <laughs> if you ever hurt him, I'll kick your ass in the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. <laughs> oh shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just getting a lot of that. I'm really tired and I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Is that... This seems like the end, but maybe there's more. Changing of the seasons. I got a feeling this is going to be the last day, but that was an extra long episode with extra yelling and extra morals. But that's the kind of thing... I try not to get political, but there's a few things... Like, if you disagree with me on, I don't really care if I offend you. Because you're just... You'd have to be such a piece of shit to disagree with me on that I... I don't even care. I used to think that it was good to never offend nobody. Then I realized there's a lot of shitty people in the world. And if anything, it's a lot worse to have shitty people like you than to have people like it's 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 worse to have everybody like you even though they're shit than it is to have people not like you because they're shitty people are ah, i fucked that up it's better to be disliked because you don't play nice with shitty people that's how i want to say it than it is to be liked because you're nice to shitty people like there's a lot of people out there that fucking suck and the world would probably just frankly better off without them. I mean, we got 7 billion people, dude. If all the shitty ones just died overnight, we'd be fine. We would be fine. We... Yeah. So... Next time you're balancing your priorities, maybe think, hey, do I need this asshole to like me? Do I need to not offend this person who thinks, like, you know, do I need to not offend literal neo-Nazis? Like, that's been a thing lately. The people are like, oh, no, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't be rude to people that are, like, avowedly, openly racist, that openly want genocide against certain groups, that, you know, if that's where your morals lie, fuck you. You don't have morals. You know? <laughs> There's some things that are too big to just be a pussy on. It's just... Yeah. Anyway, I'm sure the comment section is going to be great for this video. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, next time, I assume we're close to the ending here? Yeah.